Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So it is a beautiful spring day across Long Island. It's like 60 degrees out today. Perfect day for some fishing. But before I get down to the water, I gotta gear up, put my waders on, get my boots on, get some tackle together. And in the meantime, while I'm doing that, I got some clips for you guys from previous outings. I'm gonna start out my first two bass of 2021 I caught down in Florida. So let's roll these two clips from Florida and then we'll get back and we'll do some clips from earlier in March here on Long Island. There's a fish. Finally, we got our first bite. Come on, don't jump. Don't want to lose them. Oh, nice bass. Oh, yeah. Woohoo! Look at this one. Ugh, come here. Nice, beautiful bass. There we go. Ooh, beautiful fish. And he has a battle scar on him too. You see that? All right. See you later, big girl. There's a fish. Ooh, he feels good. Nice. Ooh, don't throw it. Nice, we got our second bass. Hooked him right on the side. Look at that hook came right out. All right, he's smaller than that first one. Nice bass, though. All right, so those first two bass were my first large mouth of the season. But now I'm going to show you the clips I did previously. It was like a week ago. We had some nice warm weather. I was getting out doing some fishing. Caught my first trout of the season. And I caught two nice large mouth bass here. So I'm going to play those now for you guys while I get ready, start walking over to the lake. Not jerk baits, that's a shadow wrap shad. It's a shadow wrap shad, that's a good shad. Got one. That's, that's gotta be a trout. Yeah, it's a trout. I don't know. Who get in? I don't think they stocked yet, but nice. It's a nice brown. Not gonna really handle him though, because we're gonna release him. I just threw the old dang dang. Is it brown or rainbow? It's a brown. Alright. All right, let's let him go real quick. I'll get my hook out of the net in a minute. Nice brown. Oh, he's ready to go. There he goes. Nice, sweet. Ooh, there's a bite. What do we got? Bass or pickerel? Be cool if we get a bass, because I've not caught a largemouth yet on Long Island in 2021. 
Oh, nice bears, nice bears. Come on, don't fall off, don't fall off. Oh, easy, easy. Wow, that's a nice one. Ooh, hook came right out. Yeah, it's a beaut. Look at his mouth, look how red. Look how red his mouth is. I believe people say that's when they're feeding off the bottom, going for crawfish, or even, nah, they can't be spawning yet. All right, let's get a good release. First bass 2021 on Long Island. Ooh, there you go. Nice, that was awesome. He hit it pretty light too. He didn't really smack it like largemouth usually do. Yeah, good old rooster tail came through again. Yeah, there's a bite. Nice. Please be a bass again. He feels good. What is it? Yeah, another largemouth. Let's, let's not lose him. Another really good size largemouth on the rooster tail. Heck, I wonder if it's the same fish. He's got the red mouth. There's no way these bass are spawning yet. There's no way they're making their bass beds out there. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful large mouth. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe his mouth ain't as red as the other one, but definitely nice quality size large mouth. There he goes swimming off nice and slow. Yeah, it's awesome. So we got two large mouth within like maybe 30 minutes of each other on the rooster tail. That's my number one go-to lure for here on Long Island, freshwater fishing. Never go wrong with that. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed those clips. Just got over to the water now. We're gonna try to do some ultralight fishing. As you saw in just the clips before, I caught a trout, caught some bass. I didn't get any crappie yet since I've been back from Florida. So we're gonna try to do a little crappie fishing today. I'm gonna start out in this section right here because it's actually kind of shallow right here. And I always feel like sometimes these fish push up in the shallows just, you know, to warm up in this sun. So I think we'll try here for a little, see if we get any bites and then just keep hopping around from there. Oh yeah, I don't think I mentioned that I was using the crappie magnet. I got it on a 1 18th ounce jig head, going with the chartreuse scrub. And as you can see, I got it under a suspended bobber. Get out of here. <clears throat> Don't swan. Get out of here. Hit the road. looks like a good spot over here
All right, guys, so I'm a little angry. I had my camera off the whole time because it's been hours since I just had, you know, had a bite. And at that point, I just kept the camera off and was hitting up spots, just trying to find something. And sure enough, I just caught a crappie before. So I'm hoping from this point on, we're gonna start catching crappie over here. Is a bite. Oh yeah, it feels like a good one. Nice. At least we got this one on camera. Yeah, nice crappie. Ooh, there we go. So this is technically my second fish, but first fish for you guys. Beautiful crappie. Ooh, there he goes. All right, so we might have solved the puzzle here. We had to make this crappie magnet grow really deep, at least like four feet deep, I probably made it. And we're casting way out into the middle. Seems like these fish are staying in the deeper water. I thought with this warmer weather, they would be, you know, moving closer to shore, but seems like they're just out there. So, so now that we're getting onto them, let's try to get a few more. There's a bite. Yeah, we got them. They're hitting way at the end of the cast, just way out there. Oh, this one feels good. Nice. Yeah, this was a nice crappie here. Yeah. Yeah, they big sized ones. It's definitely some nice crappie. There's a bite. Oh, he threw it. All right, guys, it's gonna be it for me. After that last bite, I didn't get anything else. Must have fished for at least 30, 45 minutes after that. Maybe that school of crappie just moved off, but I would have kept fishing more, tried to get some more crappie, but I've been here all day. I think we're going on like four and a half, almost five hours. So I'm gonna call it, at least we didn't get skunked today. Found the crappie, turned out fishing the structure close to shore was not the right move. We had to fish deeper in the middle. Always try things when you're not catching. And as you saw, that worked for me today. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you saw. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And stay tuned to the next one.